Hey YouTube, what is up? Now this morning I woke up to some very exciting news in indeed. So a tech blog known as Recode has been getting some information from sources that Apple may be doing an event next Thursday to showcase its new Apple MacBook Pros. And yeah, you know what that means? Next Thursday, I will not be streaming the Apple event on my YouTube channel because on Sunday, some Apple guy decided to take down one of my videos and because of this, YouTube have given me my first copyright strike. So, it means that from now on, I have to watch the Apple event without streaming it on YouTube. Well, that's okay, I can live with that. And, uh, now, I've been reading about the new MacBook Pro, since I am thinking about buying one. But yesterday, I was reading that the new MacBook Pros are rumours to come with USB-C ports, which are like this new version of USB that it's... It's not backwards compatible with other USB devices. So that's a bit of a downside for me because most of my USB peripherals, like my microphone, my Apple Super Drive, my Dazzle, my Elgato capture card, all of those things, they are USB 2.0 and 3.0 compatible. So, uh, yeah, that might stop me from buying this new MacBook Pro this year. But if I don't end up buying the MacBook Pro this year, there is a custom-made desktop that I've been ha ha that I've had for years. And for Christmas this year, I might treat it to some upgrades. And uh, I would replace the entire system with a new motherboard, with an Intel Sk Skylake processor, overclocked and uh, 32 gigs of RAM and a 512 GB M2 solid state drive and an NVIDIA GeForce 1070 graphics card and there is lots of like spec like suppliers out there and uh, one of them one of the good ones in the UK is called SCAN and they do next day delivery and hopefully all of the components will be there before Christmas and I'll best take them to my local IT technician who I know very well and his name's Richard and he's done a lot of upgrades for me in the past and he built that Silencio that I had back in 2013 the one that I made a video about where it was doing some beep codes the other day well, not the other day but a few years ago but now I'm quite happy with what I got in my room at the moment because I got an iMac 27 inch and an MSI gaming laptop but most of the, the time because of my disabilities and stuff I go around my grandparents house quite a lot especially when I'm when my mum and when my, like my parents are away and uh, or when I don't have much else to do. I like to visit my grandparents' house and um, lately it's always been a tradition for me, usually on a Remembrance Sur Sunday when they have the uh, service on the TV. I usually go around Nan's house on a Saturday night and on Sunday morning we got me and Nan and Pops watch the Remembrance Sunday service together and uh, yeah um, but yeah I don't I have, a, I have some space in my room at Nanny's for a desktop to go in there. Now, when I'm older and I have enough skills to be able to live independently, I'm thinking about buying myself a house, as a normal person would, but I'm going to have like a music room, so my iMac would go in my music room, and uh, my gaming tower in my main room, is I tend to do a lot more gaming when I'm in my bedroom. And, uh, yeah. 
and I reckon my upgrades that I buy for my tower will probably last me for a few more years. Because I'm doing some massive upgrades here. At the moment, I in my Silencio, I got a third generation Intel Core i7 at 3.4 gigahertz, I think. 3.7? I can't remember. Oh, I'll have a look. So yeah, I think I got the Intel i7. 3770. This is going to be like my tech talk video because I like tech. Um, ah, 3770. That's the one I have. And yes, it's an up to 3.5 gigahertz processor. Uh, it normally runs at 3.4. So yeah, I got a 3.4 gigahertz processor. And I have 8 gigabytes of Corsair XMS3. DDR3 RAM, and I got a 1TB hybrid drive from Seagate, and I have an MSI NVIDIA GeForce 770, I think it's by Seagate, See, yeah, Seagate hybrid drive, yeah, yeah, I have a 1TB, or 2TB, I can't remember. I used to have an SSD in there, but it was playing up on me for some reason, so I decided, and I didn't, my SSD was quite low. It was quite, yeah, it was a 128GB SSD. Um, yeah, so, it would be quite nice to have 520 gig for Windows 10, 512, and a 1TB, my 1TB hybrid for data, and I can use my BitTorrent sync on my hybrid drive. Um, yeah. So, MacBook Pros, I might get the MacBook Pro this year or not, but I think I can get more performance upgrading my gaming PC and getting a 27-inch gaming monitor, which has built-in speakers, and I will be able to enjoy streaming or just screen recording my speedrun attempts lag free because I'll have that powerful 8 gigabyte GTX 1080 1070 and I'll also get a fresh copy of Windows 10 home it's the retail copy with a USB pen drive so I'll have to plug my USB pen drive into a USB port and boot from the USB drive. But it'll be a lot quicker to install Windows 10 from a pen drive than it is to install it from a DVD. Because these days, disk drives, they spin. And uh, I, what I find is when I have a disk drive on my laptop, it takes a while to boot Windows up without it. So, And of course, I'll be able to install Unity and uh, Visual Studio and... Uh, I'll be able to install like VMware and install some virtual machines to test my Boogie Light Steam on several operating systems. I think it probably will run on Windows XP even. Um, yeah, because I am planned to be releasing it in Steam in the future. Because I know that independent developers, they have this like green light thing where they send the game out and uh, a lot of other people like give them feedback and it's a brilliant way to uh, to release an independent game on Steam but for now I am focused on iOS and Android and luckily with Unity on Windows I can install iOS support and run an iOS application on there so uh yeah. And on April the 10th, I know this is not tech related, but on April the 10th, I will be going to see Rick Astley again, which will be pretty cool. And one of my friends who I go on holiday with, she's going with me and mum, which is quite nice. And also yesterday, I did win that PS1 that I bid on eBay. And I also bought a copy of Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain for the PS4, so I might do a live stream of that game on my Twitch 
when it arrives. And I will, might do another part of Skylanders on Twitch as well, which will be nice. And I might get a PCI El Gasso capture card for my Silencio. And then I'll be able to stream console games using a PCI port, which would be pretty good. So yeah, that was my tech update. And uh, yeah, and one day I'll hopefully be getting a job in the tech industry. That would be good as well. So yeah, thank you for watching this tech update. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, in another Boogie Lights update. And, yeah, and I'll do my thoughts about the Apple event next Thursday, if it happens. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.